what's up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome on back to the empire happy monday this is i'm recording a day of that's why it hasn't gone up yet it is currently 4 55 it's gonna go up as soon as i'm done uh, editing and rendering and all that fun stuff anyways let's do a quick team recap so we can get this up and ready to go first up we have vader our toxic boosting typhlosion with the moves you turn overheat fun turns flame wheel next up we have clank our multi-scale clink clang with the moves you turn steel wing rock sliding gear grind Next up, Destro, our MVP, the Limber Flareon with the Moose Volt Switch, Fly, Lava Plume, and Bite. Next up, we have Mrs. Mime, our Aura Breaking Mr. Mime with the Moose Light Screen, Reflect, Psychic, and Scald. Next up, Dribbler, our starter, the Iron Fisting Tauros with the Moose Strength, Cut, Rock Smash, and Zed Headbutt. Last but not least, Etsy, our Motor Driving Dragauji with the Moose Twister, Surf, Toxic, and Sludge Bomb. So, now it is time for us to continue on our journey. We have stopped, uh, or we have defeated Ting Magma at their hideout. Now, though, we have to kind of catch up to them. We have to figure out where they where they went and where they are going. That way we can uh, stop their plans and foil their plans once again. Let's buy a few more Ultra Balls. And we have a few. We have a good amount of Hyper Potions. Stock up just a, just a little bit more. Uh, super potion. Let's buy. Let's buy eight of these if I can. We can put them up to fifteen, and let's buy eleven potions. It's up to fifteen of these as well. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what does this lady sell us? What does she sell us? We can buy a dome fossil. We can buy quick balls. Let's buy five quick balls. Let's buy a dome fossil because that is an encounter. All right. Since that has been randomized. Let's actually check out the rest of the mart before we continue on. Um, having quick balls is nice. We can just chuck those at the beginning. Uh, the dome fossil encounter is going to be kind of cool. Uh, Comet shard, steel excite. We're going to buy that because why not? Power belts. Okay. We'll get the steel excite just in case we get a steelix. All right. What do you sell me? Ice gem, metal powder, dubious disc, lagging tail, ladia sight. Snag that. Okay. We're getting some decent items here. Uh, what do you think? Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. I'm having a pretty good Monday. I'm pretty exhausted, actually. Uh, that's what I am, but... Pretty wore out, pretty exhausted. But uh, it's been a good day. It's been a very good Monday. Alright, so those are all our TMs. I think that's top. All right. Oh, there's one more. Is this our secret base stuff? I don't think any of this gets changed, right? I don't think so. All right, nothing here. Yeah, these are all the same. I just want to double check just to make sure, but I'm pretty confident none of these change. Yeah, these are all posters. All the secret base stuff should stay the same. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to go up one more floor just to see if there's anything else or if we're at the roof. We are at the roof. I'm bone dry thirsty. So I wonder, does this guy give us anything? If I give him... I'm actually going to buy one of each just in case. Because then even if I don't uh, use them for him, like if he doesn't give us anything, we still have a little extra healing items for our Pokemon team. I'm rocking my Matt, uh, my Matt Ryan jersey today because my Colts won. Finally, we look like a real football team. Holy shnikes, the defense decided to show up and play a game. It's a miracle. Beat uh, the second best team in the AFC with the Chiefs. Oh, well, no, he says he's bone dry thirsty. Okay, well, look at us. We are a superhero. Look at that. Look at that. I think that's a good thumbnail, huh? There we go. All right. Very good. Training sale is held here on Saturdays. Oh, I didn't know that. Is there anything you can do in there? Nope. All right. Well, we're just going to take the elevator back down. And then we are going to move along. That's a terrifying sound for an elevator. Has anybody ever been trapped in an elevator? Comment down below. Comment down below if you've been trapped in an elevator and what you did to get out. Or if you just kind of had to sit there and wait. Uh, I wasn't necessarily trapped, but it took me... There was one time where it did take me a little bit of time to get out of one. Uh, somebody had to go and call somebody to get it fixed. and uh, Luckily, they were it was pretty quick and easy. Uh, even the tech, the tech didn't even come all the way out. He was kind of talking to the guy on the phone. He told him to do something, and uh, he got scored away. I was able to uh, get out pretty quickly, and that was the end of it. Uh, it was pretty, pretty much to me, it just felt like, they, uh, like the door just went open, so... It's kind of neat. There are Kyogre on this route. Holy shnikes, Batman. 
That sounded kind of crazy. Okay. What is that? That's a Cresselia. Do we go for the Cresselia or do we look for my ogre? Let's go for the Cresselia. Let's go for it. Cresselia is our encounter for this route. We love it. We love to see it. All right. Let's see. What level are you? Level 30. Okay. Quick ball. Here we go. We do have a master ball, but I don't really want to use the master ball on Cresselia. Can we get it with a quick ball? One. Two. Oh, no. It didn't work, but that's okay. We almost had it. All right. Now it's going to go for the mist. Okay. Technically, Cresselia shouldn't do anything to hurt us, in theory. We do have U-Turn that can do some damage to it. Hmm. Okay, so it can't get burned now. Let's go for an overheat. I know it's going to lower our special attack, but... Ooh, nice. But, uh, my special attack's not going to be used anyway. Uh, we don't want to use another Quick Ball. That would go bad. Let's go for the Ultra Ball. We have a few of those. It would be nice to be able to catch this Legendary. That would be really nice. One. I appear to be caught. It's got a roar of you. Should do a whole lot of nothing. Make sure you guys are commenting down below on these videos, man. We can get you a nice, uh, good old nickname here, huh? Good old nickname. I have a good nickname for this one if we we're able to catch it. And for one of our mods on the team. For one of our mods on the channel. Um, you know, I think I can flame charge again and Cresselia still live. Perfect. We got it down to the red. It's exactly where we needed it to go. Okay, come on. I don't want to waste all my balls on this, but it would be a nice capture. A good bulky Pokemon. Oh my. Okay. Well. Safeguard again. I actually don't know if Cresselia's move set that well. Uh, but I wonder if it gets anything good. We do have some good TMs, so. We're going to throw a few more balls at this thing and see if we can't get it. Come on. I know Cresselia's shiny is beautiful. If we could have got the shiny. That would have been awesome. Learns Future Sight at 38. Moonlight at 57. Psycho Chip at 75. Lunar Dance at 84. Psycho Cut at 66. Psychic at 93. Sing okay, so it's almost like the uh, Dark Cry where the moveset's not great. The level of moveset's not great. Oh! the triple jiggle okay it's almost staying in it's almost there come on Cresselia you know you want to stay in all right come on little guy come on you can do it you know you want to join this awesome team well okay well I can't give you the team captain that's Destro Destro's the team captain. He's been the one that's carried the team. So you can be the tank of the team. You and Clank. So there's a little pink thing's little Cresselia's hands. That's kind of adorable. Come on. One. No, you didn't stay in. This thing is becoming a real pain in the hind end to catch. Let's try. Maybe you like the Great Ball better. You didn't like the Great Ball better. Maybe you like the Premier Ball better. Maybe that's the one that it's going to take. The Premier Ball, maybe. The Premier Ball should be the, the winner, huh? Is that it? 
nope. Okay, you don't like to be premier. All right, well, that's okay. We'll go with uh, uh, we'll go with an ultra ball then. We'll go with an ultra ball then. You silly little skellywag. I was really hoping the quick ball would work. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really was banking on this quick ball. Okay. I'm gonna throw five more balls at it. Five more. We had a lot of balls. Looks like we're gonna be using a lot of balls. Come on, Cresselia, just stay in. How does everybody else have luck catching Pokemon but not me? I think this thing does have a pretty insane catch rate though, so I guess there's that. One, two, no! Come on, Chrysalia! Just stay in the ball. I'm only throwing three more. I would have thrown 15 of them at you. Well, 15 Ultra Balls. No! Do I have anything that can status this? That was a crit. Before I do anything else, is there anybody that has... A move that can status. I don't think so. No. <gasps> Etsy can't. Etsy does. Etsy does. But I have to toxic and I get one more shot at it. I get the toxic and that's about it. Toxic and throw the ball. That's all by land it, as a matter of fact. I wasn't too worried about that. I was protected by safeguard right now. I need the safeguard to go away. Come on, safeguard, go away. I know it's still protected by the safeguard. I'm just spamming it until it goes away. You're still up? Come on. Uh, we can just use a super potion here. I knew Etsy would be able to take it. 12 levels higher. Cresselia is more of a tank than uh, than, do, than it will do damage. Okay, no longer protected by safeguard. Toxic. Double team again. Wow. We landed the toxic. Holy shnikes, we landed it. Okay. How much damage does residual damage do? I think I only get one more ball like I thought. I'm just wondering if this was a bad idea. I think this is the only way I had. The only chance I had, though. Come on, please live on like one. Unfortunate. Vader grows level 36. We got some good XP though. Oh, that's sad. Okay, well, so much for that route. That this route was loaded. Cresselia, Kyogre, is that a Gallade? I can't tell what else is at the bottom of that. Alright, awesome. This is a Genesect. That's a full-grown Genesect. Where is that? That's a... No, I don't want that. That Pokemon's not very good. Can I just get an encounter here now? I think that's a slurp off again. Alright. What's our encounter for here? Skunk Tank. Okay. Skunk Tank's actually pretty good. It's not like a Pokemon you think of to use all the time, but it actually is pretty good. Got Aura Break. Uh, let's Overheat. Use Faint. Okay. You avoided my attack, you little dirty dog. You stinky skunk. Well, it didn't take an Overheat like I thought it would in my bed. Never mind, you are a stinky Pokemon. But we have thrown two whole encounters today. That's unfortunate. Now we're in Moss Deep City. Uh, I wonder if, if that encounter was in Moss Deep or if it was still in the route. I don't know. I'm just... I'm not even going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. Alright, let's heal up. We're now in Moss Deep. So... We can work on taking on the gym. Uh, because we need to get dived to be able to slow down Team Magma. And for us to get dived, we have to beat the gym leader here. 
So, Team Magma is going to get a little bit of a uh, head start on their plan for us while we are dealing with the gym challenge. Oh, I can't go through here? Really? What is all this? I don't ever remember any of this from the game. Couldn't tell you what that is. Um, okay. I saw if I can go down there and get an encounter on the other side here. Get an item? Okay, I get at least get an item. Sharpedo Knight. You know, I've gotten a lot of Mega Stones and not one for a Pokemon on the team. I don't think anybody on my team can become a Mega, but not even in the PC. Yeah, I'm getting some bad luck with those. I mean, good luck that I'm getting a bunch, but bad luck for the types of Pokemon I'm getting with them. That kind of stinks. Uh, I don't... There must not be a way I can get... Nope. Okay. Oh, there's an item just sitting here. And it's a Poke toy. Okay, well, I didn't really care about that, if I'm being honest with you. What is... This is for the space station, right? I know that's all post-game. Which we probably will not be doing. We're just doing the Nuzlocke run. But the Delta episode of, of this game is actually really good. Okay, and I can't surf that way. Okay, well, looks like the last thing for us to do is to go into the gym. So let's head on in there. Actually, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. Two more things. Um, Steven Stone's house is here. Does he leave us to build him here yet? Or is that when you become the champion? I guess if he leaves us to build him, I think that's right. I think that's his house right here. It's called the King's Rock. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, I'll take the King's Rock. Okay. I'm pretty sure that was Steven's house, but I'm still gonna check this house anyway. Yep, that was Steven's house. Okay, we don't get the Beldum until post-game. That's okay. Um, the other thing we want to do is fly on our desk. uh, who are we flying on? Is there something that we're flying on? Wait a minute! Here's the move. Oh, fly, yeah. Flying on Destro. Uh, we need to go all the way back to Rustboro City. To the Devon Corporation. Because we need to check out these uh, fossils that we got. We want to see what kind of encounters that we get. Maybe we can get some really good Pokemon that we can grind up and, and make part of the team. Uh, it would be worth it to get them. So. Do, do, do. I'm the little dragon I just kind of sitting there. All right, so we're gonna go in here, check out our encounters, check out our fossils, or I think we have two, right? I remember, I remember, I remember right, we had two. I do have a fossil. I do have two fossils, all right. Good stuff, I got two. Lipard, okay. Lipard's not bad. I wasn't able to nickname it, but that's unfortunate. Uh. Who's the armor fossil? Who do we get from this? Shield on, which is Fungus. You know what though? Fungus is not great, but Amoongus though. Amoongus gets Spore. It'd be really good for catching Pokemon. Uh, so that is something to think about for sure. Okay, I don't know why I got on my bike. We're not getting on the bike. We are using a move. We are flying all the way back across the region to Moss Deep. It's up here. Shoal Cave is up there. I think we're going to take an adventure to Shoal Cave. This is going to be an encounter filled episode, huh? Um, we're actually going to go into the Pokemon Center because I want to check out the Pokemon that we got. I want to check their abilities. I know we weren't able to nickname them, but we can always do that later if we needed to. Um, Fungus has relaxed with a rock head ability. That's not going to help him really at all. Or her. I didn't see the gender. Victory Star. That is Victini's moves. Boosts the accuracy of its allies and itself. Okay. Moe's has Defiant. Oh yeah, I think I added it to the end of last episode, but Moe's was our egg that we got. So there's that. Uh, no, I don't want to continue operations. Okay. I want to see if we can't go up into Shoal Cave and get an encounter in there, because that would be super awesome. Uh, looks like we can. So that's nice. Oh, Fungus is available in Moss Deep City, too. What's out here, right? 
Yeah, I was a moss deep when I got that encounter, for sure. Okay. That's fine. Let's go all the way up top. Not to there. No, all right, we're on Route 125. Route 125 is over here. That red thing kind of scared me, not gonna lie. Do, 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 do. I was about to check that out. All right, well, this works out perfect. Oh, this Pokemon's so cool. The only problem is, without its ability, it's kind of not good. I don't think I have anything that can hit it, not kill it. Uh, Mr. Mine, Mrs. Mine would not be a good option. Etsy can because we can use Surf and it resists. It's still a little hone edge though. I don't think it keeps its ability in Shield or Shield Stance or whatever is the only thing that makes this Pokemon useful when it evolves. Oh well, you're done. Yeah, we'll see you later, I guess. Okay. We've knocked out uh, three encounters today. Wow. To be fair, the Cresselia was not necessarily my fault. I mean, I know I toxic used Toxic on it. It was more to help me catch it, and it didn't help. Okay, if you, I don't know what this is in here for. What Pokemon is this? It sounds terrifying in the ground. Ooh, I know it's not the best legendary, but it is still a legendary. All right, Uxie. All right, Uxie, that's another defensive tank that we can get here, huh? Okay, we are going to go into Etsy right away. We're gonna Toxic. Uh, I know it really limits our turns, no, what am I doing? I could have quick balled it. Oh, I forgot we had him. Think. That's unfortunate. Okay. All right, we're going to Toxic, and then we're going to leave, because Oopsie's super effective on us, and apparently faster than us. Get this Toxic down. We're going to throw Great Balls to start, because we don't, I don't really want to hit it and lower the Toxic timer, right? Uh, so we're going to switch out. We'll go into Clank, which will take every hit imaginable. From Uxie. Okay, well. That's fine. We're gonna throw our kind of bam balls, our premier balls, great balls, all those things first. And then we'll throw our last few ultra balls that we got. I was gonna say, what? I don't think these things are that hard to catch. I think we'll be able to catch this. I think we'll be able to get it. Ooh, that toxic is cooking. I think we'll be throwing ultra balls after this turn even. Even once it gets as soon as it hits yellow, ultra balls the whole way. Okay. Well, no good. We're already asleep, so Leon's not going to do anything. Ooh boy. Yep, toxic hurts. Ultra ball, here we go. We got six of them. Not even a shake. Man, maybe putting it on timer was a bad thing. It's in the... Oh, this is our last ball. This is our only shot here. Here we go. <laughs> well, it's in the red. It's poison. I mean... That's what we got, huh? One. Apparently, we're just not meant to catch Pokemon today. Wow. That's... For this episode, it's just wow. I... I, I mean, I can't... I, I can't. I can't think of another word in this episode other than wow. This is just... It is what it is, I guess. Well, we're going to fly back, and we're going to wrap up the episode for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. If you did... Make sure you hit that like button for me. It would really help, especially after today's episode. Uh, if you could subscribe to the channel. Also, if you haven't already, join the family. Join the Empire. Together we shall rule the galaxy. Have a great rest of your day. May the Force be with you. Always.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. However, I just want to take a few minutes to tell you about something that is very important. This channel was made to have a great time playing video games, but there's so much more than that. This channel is made to show Jesus Christ to an audience that may not ever hear how great he truly is. Jesus Christ loves you so much he gave up all of heaven just for you. He came here, was born in a stall. His first breath was of manure. He lived a perfect life for 33 years and then died on a cross just for you. He died even for those that put him there. After three days, he rose again, and now he is in heaven waiting for the right time to call his children home. Contrary to popular belief, not everyone is a child of God. I would like to give you the opportunity to become one. Hell is a real place. It's a terrible place. It's a place filled with fire, gnashing of teeth. It's an eternal darkness, an eternal separation from God, and I don't want any of you to go there. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 and verse 10, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. It's a pretty easy verse to understand. Nobody is perfect, and everyone has done something wrong in their life other than Jesus Christ. The Bible goes on to say in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 5 and verse 8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The payment for us doing things wrong is to die. I'm sure glad that verse doesn't end there, though. It goes on to say that the gift of God, not from God, the gift of God, he gave himself. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So how do we get saved? Jesus died for us. He loves us. So what do we have to do? Do we have to give money? Do we have to do uh, 55 push-ups, 500 push-ups? Do we have to uh, be a good person? No. We can never be good enough. We can never give enough money. We can never be baptized enough times. We can never do any of these things that the world tries to tell us. Jesus Christ made it as easy for us as possible. He did all the hard work. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 and 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm sure glad I don't have to give money to get to heaven, because I don't have a whole lot of it. I'm sure glad that I don't have to be good, because I can never be good enough. I'm sure glad I don't need to be baptized. The thief on the cross that died with Jesus, it's not like the Roman soldiers let him off to dump him in water and then bring him back up and nail him again. No. All we have to do is believe in Jesus Christ to get to heaven. That's, that's it. That's how we get saved. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, 13, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That whosoever is you. That whosoever is me. That whosoever is the worst person we could possibly think of. Jesus Christ died and paid for everything. Anybody can be saved. It doesn't matter what your past is. It doesn't matter what you're doing now. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you're going to do. Jesus Christ died for you knowing all of that. And still says, just believe in me and you get to go to heaven. I'm going to lead you in a prayer, and it's not the prayer that saves you, but it's believing that in Jesus Christ that he's the only way to get to heaven. That's how you get saved. But the prayer, we call it the sinner's prayer, and it goes something like this. And if you would like to be saved, you can say this uh, out loud. You can say it in your head. You can say it right from where you're at. You don't have to be in a church to say it. You can be anywhere. The prayer goes something like this. Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross just for me. And Jesus, the best way I know how, I'm asking you to come into my heart, to save me from all my sins, and take me to heaven when I die. Jesus, I don't know everything, but I'm believing in you the best that I know how. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me, for dying for me, and for saving me right now. In Jesus' name, amen. If you believe that, you are now saved and a child of God. That is awesome. It's wonderful. It's going to be great to be able to spend an eternity in heaven with you where there's no more death, no more pain, no more suffering, no more goodbyes. It's a wonderful place filled with people that all love God and that accepted Christ. The Bible goes on to tell us in 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 through 13, And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in a Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. 
See, Jesus doesn't want us to question whether we're going to heaven or not. He wants us to know it. He puts a stamp of a guarantee on it. You can't trust really anybody on, your, on their word anymore, but you can trust Christ. He's never lied to you. He's never messed up. He's never made a mistake. He put a stamp of approval. You may know that you have eternal life. And this life is in the Son. So if you accepted Christ as your Savior today, man, I'm rejoicing for you. All of heaven is celebrating. The Bible tells us that all of heaven rejoices over one sinner that repenteth. I sure would like to know that you got saved. Whether you leave a comment or if you want to contact me personally on Twitter, uh, at, at Skyvorker, that would be great to just get to know that you accepted Christ as your Savior. I would love to be able to rejoice with you and to help you along, along the way if I can. Thank you guys so much for listening to this, and I hope you did accept Christ as your Savior today. God bless. Bye-bye.